Hey guys, it's Shelly. Welcome back to Clean Green Being. If it's your first time here, welcome. Thanks for stopping by. If you don't mind before you leave hitting the subscribe button and the bell notification icon, I would greatly appreciate it. And lastly, if you find the information in today's video helpful, be sure to hit the like button. So in today's video, I am going to be swatching and creating two eyeshadow looks using the Nudist 1 and Nudist 2 palette by the brand Well People. These are two new palettes by this brand, and I don't think Well People had pressed eyeshadows or even eyeshadow palettes prior to this. So when I saw on their website they were coming out with these palettes, I definitely had to snag them and give them a try. I love the quality of Well People products. I use a variety of them on a regular basis. And what's more is that I also respect Well People as a brand and their transparency. So if you're interested in sticking around and seeing some swatches and me creating two eyeshadow looks using the Nudist 1 and Nudist 2 eyeshadow palettes by Well People, then go ahead and keep on watching. So before I begin swatching and creating two eyeshadow looks using the Well People Nudist palettes, I first wanted to give you a little bit of information about the palettes themselves. So again, as mentioned, there is the Nudist 1 and Nudist 2 eyeshadow palettes. So the Nudist 1 contains five beautiful taupe-based hues, and the Nudist 2 palette contains five violet-based hues. These shades are just so earthy and gorgeous in my opinion. Per the description of the palettes, these shades are supposed to kind of take on the spirit and vibe of Santa Fe, New Mexico. This is such a cool little town. If you've never been, I highly recommend it. I love Santa Fe. So these shadows really do just kind of play off of the tones and shades that you would typically kind of see in that area. So in terms of the ingredients of the palettes, the new nudist eyeshadow palettes by Well People, they contain organic botanicals of grapeseed, rosemary, and jojoba oil. They are cruelty free, gluten free, vegan, contain non-toxic ingredients, and they are also non-GMO verified. So in terms of these shadows, they are super beautiful. They apply really nicely. They are packed with captivating pigments that prevent them from looking chalky and also help them to be more long wearing throughout the day. So with that being said, let's just go ahead and jump right into the swatches and the footage of me creating two eyeshadow looks using the new Nudist palettes by Well People.
Okay, so that completes the swatches and the two eyeshadow looks using the Nudist palettes by Well People. These palettes, the colors are so earthy and just gorgeous. I think I was able to create very beautiful and soft looks. This look right here using the Nudist 2 eyeshadow palette I think is more of kind of an evening look. And the look that I created with the Nudist 1 eyeshadow palette I think would be a really beautiful look for daytime. The quality of the shadows are nice. I did notice a little bit of kick up when using the shadows. However, that doesn't really bother me because I think I was able to get really beautiful looks from them. Some people have a problem with kickback. I personally don't really mind it unless it's super extreme and this was just kind of moderate in my opinion. I'm really excited that Well People came out with these palettes. I think they did a really nice job with them. The shades again are gorgeous. They were easy to work with. I was able to blend them out really nicely. Well People overall is just a really high quality, natural, clean beauty line. I can't say enough good things about them. So if you haven't checked out Well People, I definitely would. I have a full face of Well People products that I filmed a few months back. So if you're interested in watching that video, I will put a card right around now. So with that being said, let me know in the comments down below if you've had a chance to try the Well People Nudist eyeshadow palettes yet. I'm interested in hearing your thoughts and opinions about the shadows and also interested in hearing which of the two is your favorite. I also want to encourage you, if you have any natural skincare or beauty products that you are interested in trying, but you don't really want to bite the bullet and purchase until you have an idea as to whether or not the product is even worth purchasing, let us know in the comments below. We would be happy to try them for you. And with that being said, I just want to say thank you so much for taking the time to view today's video. I really appreciate your viewership. Clean Green Being has new uploads every Sunday and Wednesday, so if you haven't done so already, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon below so that you can be notified of all of our future uploads, and I will see you on the next one. Thanks, guys.